In my last video, I bought a BIOSLOG ThinkPad and somehow managed to bypass its password. That video kind of blew up and we're already at almost 1000 subscribers, so thank you all so much for that. A lot of you asked for a tutorial on how I did it, so in this video, I'll show you exactly how, step by step. So this method does not work on any ThinkPad. I will have a list in the description or on the screen. So to unlock the BIOS, we'll be using a CH341A programmer and a SOIC8 clip to read and write the chip directly. You will of course find all the tools and programs I used in this video linked in the description below. So first we need to open up the ThinkPad and actually find the BIOS chip on the motherboard. You can find the location of your BIOS chip by just simply searching online. Make sure to disconnect the battery and the BIOS chips before actually using the programmer. So once that's done, we can set up the CH341A programmer. You can connect the clip to the BIOS chip as shown in the video. Make sure you find out which chip you have on your motherboard exactly, since that is needed later in the programmer. Also make sure to check the voltage of your BIOS chip. Some chips use 1.8 volts and for those you'll need a 1.8 volt adapter. In this video I'm not going to show you how to set the adapter in detail, but I have linked a video in the description below that explains it step by step. For this ThinkPad, the BIOS chip runs at 3.3 volts, so I can continue using the clip without the voltage converter. Once the clip is connected properly, we can move on to reading the BIOS firmware. First plug in the CH341A programmer into your PC. To read and write the chip, I'll be using Neo Programmer. Just make sure to have the drivers installed on your PC, so your PC actually detects the programmer. You can find the drivers in the drivers folder of the program itself. Now back to the Neo Programmer, you will find a button called Detect. If you get an error message in the console, that just means that the clip isn't making a good connection to your BIOS chip. Just reattach it and make sure it's perfectly aligned on all of the 8 pins on the BIOS chip and try again. If the connection is good, you'll get a list of different BIOS chip models. This is where you need to choose the exact chip your ThinkPad uses. In my case, it's the V25Q128FV. Once you've selected a chip, click read to dump the BIOS. After some minutes, you should see a message saying done. Now you can save the bin file by clicking on the save button. And just to be safe, I always recommend reading the BIOS chip twice and comparing both files. That way you can be sure you're actually having a clean working firmware dump. I've even had times where the first read wasn't correct at all, so doing it twice is really important. Once you have both firmware dumps, you can hash the files to compare them. Just use the following commands in your terminal or PowerShell to generate a hash for each file. If both hashes are the same, you're good to go. That just confirms the dump is correct and safe to use. Now it's time to actually use the BIOS patcher. Open the Lenovo Auto Patcher folder, then open the command prompt and set the path to where the Auto Patcher is located. Once you're in the correct folder, type Auto Patch and press Enter. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the Auto Patcher message appear. Now drag and drop one of your firmware dump file into the same folder. Then open the command prompt again and type Auto Patch and then append your file name and press enter. And if that worked, you will get a confirmation message and you will see a new file appear in your folder. That file name is your old file name, but with underscore patched. Now this is your patched BIOS firmware, the version with the password removed. Now go back into Neo Programmer, click on open file and select your patched BIOS file. Now before writing the chip, make sure that all the correct options are checked, exactly like I'm showing on the screen. Once everything is set correctly, press write. The writing process may take a little while, but in the meantime, do not remove the clip during the part, because if the connection slips, the flash can fail on you and you will have to write it again. When the writing is finished, you can unplug the clip and try turning on the laptop. When the ThinkPad boots, it will ask you for a password, but don't worry, that's normal. Just type any random password, press enter, and then this message should appear on your screen. After that, just press any key, then press enter and lastly press space. Now if you see this message, you've probably bypassed the BIOS password without any issues. And now the only thing left to do is to flash the original BIOS back to the chip. To do that, turn off the laptop, flip it over and reconnect the SOIC8 clip onto the BIOS chip. Back in the Neo programmer, press detect again and select your BIOS chip model just like before. Now open the file again, but this time not the patched file, by the original BIOS firmware file. Make sure to have these options selected again before actually writing the chip. So at this point, I actually forgot to record the rest, but after writing the chip, you can safely remove the clip, 
power on the laptop and you should see that you can access the BIOS without any restrictions.